Hi, and welcome to Albert's Voice, Solar, Everything Else. And today, we're going to be, I'm going to be sh talking about, let's move the keyboard out of the way, don't need the mouse. Okay. Don't need the pen. I'm going to talk about uh, charge cloak controllers. So let's charge control. So and what's the difference between the two of them? I also have well I have the this is the uh this one on top here is the uh the PWM and this one is the MTTP MPPT. They're both 20 amps. So 20 amps takes 12 gauge wire. 30 amps would take 10 gauge wire. Just to let you know about that. Because people always ask, what's the difference between 20 amps? And yes, they both are made in China. Okay, this is model number CMG 24 20 amps. And this is model WIN 500 MPPT. I just got this yesterday. I'm not too happy with Amazon because it was like this when I got it. <laughs> and that was the driver's fault or it came like that. I know it came from New York City. They didn't even put it in its own box or a wrapper like it's supposed to. Okay. So here we got two different charge controls. This is the um, MP. This is really heavy. I wanted to show you. I already installed it. There's a, a video of it installed in my SUV. I got, I got the last three. Oh, you can get more. They're available on. Hmm. So, there's four screws on the bottom. Well, that takes this thing apart. I really don't want to get apart yet. This is really, really heavy. Really, really heavy, and I know this has, and this also has the C E R O H S um, seal, so it has to be tested for hazard and well, this is a, this is a real MTTV um, MTT um, controller. Okay, let's talk about why you should go to that one compared to this. Okay, so. This is a PWM. This is very popular. This is very popular on um <laughs> very popular on uh, Amazon. Okay. So this comes with a manual and two leads to plug into the DC 12. These are two outputs. Similar to what you find on a Go Power Plus. You know, you got that same outputs here. So these would fit on that very easily. There you go, see? And then on the input as well. And you get two USB. These are rated at five. I already tested it out. Um, I want to open it up to show you what it looks like inside. This model is very popular. This is a um, CG2420 amp, like I said. It automatically switches from 12 to 24. Let's open this up and see. Oops. Oh, this can't go back to Amazon. It's been past. I have this for quite some time now. Oh, 
don't get me wrong. This is not a bad unit. I mean, these are good for simple projects. Like, I'm going to be building a project outside. But I haven't started that project yet. I'm trying to take care of the other projects I'm working on. I can't do them all at the same time. I'm only one person. Let's see. Let me see if that pops up. Oh, it comes right out. Ooh. Looky, looky here. Too bad this doesn't have... Um, this was made... Okay, so it's in European. So it's made 10. The month is in the middle. And the, the date, the day of the week. It's May 10, 29, 2020. So this is pretty new. So I mean, not even a year old yet. 470, huh? That's how many watts it can take. That's what, because inside here it had 150. Inside the same side, it's gonna handle 470. It's rated at mm, chip, doesn't have no identification, it's nothing on the chips. It's wiped because it has those Muppets. Wow, yes, it does. It's on the bottom. Oh. And then four screws on top to take it apart to see there. I don't have to go that far because I know some people go really extreme, but this is about one, two, three, four, five Muppets in the bottom. There is no capacitor, there's no coils or anything for doing what this does. <laughs> but um, that's pretty much what's inside here. And it's well constructed, it has a, actually a foam to protect. I don't know, some people don't like this company. It's called the ueiua.com. That's them. Hmm. So we won't know what's on the processor. I like this because you can put any size cable in here. It's easy to attach. It's well built. It's pretty inexpensive now, but I know it, it was not like that at one time. So we just looks inside there. They give you an on and off switch. So basically you can turn off the USBs, the DC outputs, and I believe you can turn off the light. Yes, because it, it does, so you don't want on the low to run, but you know, sometimes you have to remember to turn it off. This one doesn't have no, no uh, USBs. <laughs> it's a strictly one purpose. Now, this model, like I said, is good for small projects. You know, like you want to um, maybe run a, a shower or a hose. Yeah, you can collect water, right, into containers. And those containers is another story, too, about that. Uh, what the heck is that? Oh. Yeah, well, I'll discuss that when I build. Yes, I am building something for outside because I'm fascinated. Now I got so addicted to this solar stuff. Well, I had solar stuff outside. I have lights outside already that's solar powered. That's cool. I can fix them. That's what I do. Because sometimes those LED arrays, they don't work too well. This is well made. It, well, I know the heat sink is not out, but it's good enough for what it does. I never, I never had it hot. Now, when you're buying PWMs, make sure the heat sink will look something. It has, to, it has to have something to draw out the heat. If it's flat, then it's a sheet. It's a piece of metal. Now, there was another brand that I bought from Amazon that. It's supposed to do lithium and all sorts of things. It was just a P PWM. And it just had a piece of flat metal in the back. That's all it was.
I'm gonna be using this in another project. I wanna get a small, uh, you know, one of those poles with the solar on it. I think those are pretty inexpensive. But it has to be 12 volts, it cannot be 6 volt. And then hook it up to this. This, um, let's see something here. Let's focus on one unit at a time. Okay, we're gonna hook up. This is what's left of the um, one of my um, Go Power Plus. At uh, in the the review where I completely gutted it, this is it. I wanted to put it in one of these cases, and I wanted to build something beyond what we have now. And that that the two batteries packs can fit right here. Not much of a right here. The thing is, I have to figure out. I know where the um, from from views online that this would be the BS the BMS, but it's on the main board. Now, could this be hooked up into it without going through here? There must be a reason. So the temperature control must be on this too. That's the whole thing. Anyway, that's another story for another time. Let's let's get this hooked up. Right now the battery's charged. And by the way, this battery only took when I did the video, um yeah that that made me like fifteen minutes. This thing this battery was ready to go. Okay, now when you use these devices, you have to hook up ground first. The battery has to be fully charged. So negative goes to negative. Let me see something. I put it. That's good enough. I don't know. This is a demonstration purpose of only. This is an old um, toolkit. I saw some cool ones at Walmart from Hart. They're pretty inexpensive, but the only problem with those are I don't know if the things will fit in there that I want to put in there. Okay, so this turns on right away. Since there's no solar array attached, I don't have any extra solar array. I just don't know where the. I have another one that got broken outside. Not the array, but the light mechanism. It just stopped working. I just don't know where it is. I was going to use that. I found another little solar panel. Okay, so it says the battery, even though this doesn't handle lithium, right? <laughs> it, it, technically speaking, it, well, it is showing 13.9 volts. Yeah, for it. That's all. It doesn't really have much other reading. It just shows volts and amperage. Because if you turn on, you have amp, output current, and you have input current. That would appear if I put a load on it to it. Oh, USB. If I put something that's USB, like I want to charge my phone. But technically speaking, I could use this battery. Because I'm charging the phone now. Let's see. Okay. I'll put amperage went up to 0 .0, 0 0.03A. So currently speaking, and the voltage dropped down to 13.8. It's 30 Celsius. Right now, this has the temperature sensor. This one too have a temperature sensor too. This one's built in. This is not a bad unit. This is a little, even though these are kind of running. I forget what Amazon is 
I think I'm charging. It's charging. I think thirty nine. I've seen it for twenty one on eBay. But you gotta make sure it's CMG. I'm going to have the logo already in there because when I turned it on, the logo did appear. Different display. Uh, at night, it turns into an LED, like a reverse um, LCD, LED. So just like this watch, you know, it has that kind of look. I don't know if you can see it. You can see it uh, at night. There's a low light display. This one does the same exact thing. So it's not bad for what you get. Now I can turn the charging off like that. And the charging is off. There's no, this is all dead here. And the battery should go back. Hey, see, the battery went back up to 13.9. Yeah. It also has a picture of half a moon. So that's mean there's no solar. It's dark. Yeah. And if it's solar, it'd be, uh, a sun would appear. That's the only thing I've seen on there that on this device. But technically speaking, let me unplug this. Put this back in the gold power plus. But technically speaking, I mean, it's not a it's not a bad unit. If you're looking for a good uh, PWM, this one I would recommend. This is the manual that goes with it. It came with a mm, couple of Chinese cards and stuff. And a qualified certification for guaranteed. Yeah, but who's gonna guarantee it? That's the thing with all this stuff we're getting from China. The warranty. They say, hey, the warranty's two years. You know, but how are we going to get them to do anything? <laughs> but we have no choice to buy. There's only some American companies make um, these devices. And then, and they are charging full dollar. But, you know, I saw one. There's one that's made. It's, they have a PM, PWM and they have the MPPT. They claim that their stuff is designed for the government because you find them out in the desert and that's what the government uses. And it's, it's designed for, I don't know, I think it's waterproof, they did say. Okay. All right. So this company makes several different products. This is the product in question. They also make a uh, MPPT. I was going to get it and uh, I know there was some um, somebody online did a review on it. I was going to get it, but some people complained it wasn't working right, so I don't have time for that. So, okay. so this is all overload protection, short circuit protection, lighting protection, under voltage protection, overcharging protection, reverse variety protection. What do you really need about that? That's when you mix up the cables around. And it has a complete display and it tells you every little thing it does. But you can change Celsius. Celsius is pre-programmed. It's stuck. So it's gonna be Celsius. Uh, if you don't know Celsius, it's at a time to learn it. So basically, it's just showing you the temperature. Right now it's 71. It's showing you the output current and change of current shows up here. When you hook up the solar, that pops up. And that's about it. Oh, yeah, yes, you can use this for your car. You can, um, if you don't want to go that route, um, you can use this for your, your car to keep your battery charged. That's what I was doing. I was keeping the battery charged. The only reason why I changed it up, I didn't feel um, it could have done a lot better than it could, you know, because mem remember, these are not going like this. It's like 97 to 99% full power from the, from the uh, solar array. Well, this one, it just keeps everything at the same, you know, same. Because it's, it's not it, it's not designed that way. It's designed to work like 75% of the power from the solar array. But it keeps it charged. So it takes a little more time for it to trickle charge. So it's not a bad unit. If that's the way you want to go, that's the way you, you're going to go. Now, when you move up from here, it's a different story. All right, let me disconnect this. Oh yeah, you can hook up lighting right here. It has, um, so this is full featured. You know what I mean? You got, um, a lot of them pretty much the same. They got the solar, you got the battery and you got lighting and you have all of these, you have the, in, you can hook up, you know, like 
all of the fancy lights for your vehicle. You can do a lot of things. I thought it was pretty cool. And you got the on and off, which is pretty neat. And the dis display, well, again, sunlight is not the, gr not the greatest. All right, you know, take always remove negative first. I just screw these on for my own protection until I decide what I'm exactly what I'm going to do with this. I did buy another PD and brand new. I sent it back because I decided to go with these. I could have done a review on that one. That's supposed to be a smart P PWM. It's also waterproof. It looks like the there's a company names REN them. They all technically speaking, they all use the same components. It's like a few Japanese manufacturers that are making all these things. Not Japanese, sorry, Chinese manufacturers. At one time, J Japan was making all this stuff in Taiwan. This is pretty cool. This is an old Stanley um, toolbox. Let me put some leaves here. I was going to put some stuff here. I might do that right now. I'm not focusing on that project right now. I got another project that's bigger than that. <clears throat> so. Okay, this concludes on this device. Now we're going to talk about this one, <clears throat> which is the M PPT. Don't get me wrong, this really secured in the box. There's no scratches on it. Uh, yeah. This one here, again, says 12 volt, 24, 20 amp, just like that, which takes 12 gauge wire. You can actually take more than 12 gauge wire if you, if you want to do it, which is going to end up doing it. And this is just a simple uh, connection. You got your battery, and you got your solar. You got to remember the batteries on this one is different, where the battery is in the middle on this old one here and the solar is to the left so they got the battery here and to put this in you have to put the connections on first then mount it to where you are because if you mount it it's going to be very hard for you to see i don't they put the connections backwards but it's very very heavy i wish i can weigh it for you i have a scale but i don't know if it's going to be working it's very heavy i can do that wait a minute let's do that because i have batteries i have batteries Okay, got the scale. Let's weigh. Um, we're going to weigh this one first. And this weighs 6.1. Oh, six, okay, 6.0 ounces. That's all. All right. Now we're going to test the larger one. It will. Oh, it weighs one pound, 2.0 ounces. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> or a pound. Wow. It's a good heat sink on this. This looks just like the other brand. I think they make it for them. Uh, what's it called? R -E well, I, don't, I usually don't use name brands. I know who makes this. They make a lot of like a lot of um, controllers. I guess to take this off, you have to unscrew it from here. And I guess it must slide off. Oops. <laughs> Let's open it up. This one wasn't this one wasn't tight.
one screw I can't get out. I won't. Oh, I see. Where the slides out? Oh, here we go. Can't afford to lose the screw. So how does this? How do you get this out? This is the. I don't think I can get it out. I think they made it the... the hmm. There's no other... There's no other way to take it apart. Wow. So, with the light I have here... This has a lot of stuff in here. So, the board is like this. I guess it's a good idea to take off the screws. I guess not. <laughs> I guess they don't want you going inside. I'm just trying to figure. This is. Why they made this? I know it looked like they slide it on. Oh well. Now, Amazon is out of these. I don't know if they'll get back more. But one of the Chinese websites, I saw this on the, they have more information about the product. Good reviews. Um, it's 52 on there. I paid 59 for these. Because the other brand that's in a blue container, you've seen that, it's like, they, that was a pretty high, that was over $100. That's, ooh, that's so much more. I heard there was one too. They weren't too good. I don't know who makes it for them. An American version of this from the American company that's been around for so many years, they went over two hundred dollars for it for theirs. All the control labels on the side. <laughs> I 
So I have one of these in the in my um, SUV. The battery is fully charged. I mean, the solar power kept the battery charged without using the gener uh, the alternator. I don't, I didn't use the vehicle yesterday, but I was out there and I took a peek. So this is something that can't be serviced. It made to do the job and that's it. Oops. It had to be replaced. Out of the box, they work with lithium batteries. High definition TV came with these <laughs> these screwdrivers. One of them was one of the high definition TVs. The panel was damaged in transit because everything came from the mail. So I forgot to put the screwdriver back in. So I have three of these. Okay, it's flush. Now, inside here, you got the manual, and you got the, uh, the thermal temperature that sticks on in here, and that sticks out. Well, this one, it's built in right here. It's inside that hole there. I was reading some online. People didn't realize it came with the, uh, the sensor. This is the manual. You might have seen it in the previous video here. This is this it says, dear clients, thank you for selecting the Wind Series Solar Control. Please take time to read the manual. Take full advantage of this. Hmm. They have a lot of information in here. It's well written. It tells you the difference what it does. So the MPP 
MPPT profile, the full name of the MPP is the maximum power of point tracking. It's an advanced charging way which could direct the real-time power of the solar module and the maximum point of the IV curve that make the highest battery charging efficiency. Ah, efficiency. Current boosts under most conditions, MPPT technology will boost the solar charge current. MPP charging the power into the controller, the, I guess the power max, power out of the controller. Ah, I did this brought it brought it down. Assuming 100% efficiency, actually the losses in the wire in the conversion exist. So I guess, well, so I'm saying it, here up here it says 99.9% .9 max power. Full digital technology, high chains, conversion efficiency up to 98%. LED MOT indicators, easy to read. Say a battery 1224 automatic recon. Listen, automatic liquid gel AGM batteries and lithium batteries selection. Separate ports to the remote temperature and battery compensation. Four steps by charge. This will, it'll be boost, equal, boost, equalization, float. Okay, it's MTT boost. Okay, so this is MPPT boost, equalization, and float. Automatic over temperature and power reduction function. Dual automatic, automatic restriction function exceeding the rating of the charging powder of the charging current. Android app version for Bluetooth communication. Common negative design. Perfect EMC and thermal design. Fully automatic electronic protection. Okay. And it shows you different pictures and curves. And so you have the boost, the B, oh, the MPP charge, the boost charge, the flow charge, and equalization charge. So the first one, the MPP charge. In this stage, the battery voltage has not yet reached the boost voltage and 100% of available solar power is used to recharge the battery. Boost charge. When the battery has reached the boost voltage set point, const constant voltage regulation is used to prevent the heating of the excess battery do I say gases? The boost stage remains 120, min 120 minutes and then goes to the float charge. Every time when the controller is powered on, if it detects neither over over oh, uh, detects neither discharge or over voltage, the charging will enter the boost charging stage. Then you get the float. After the boost volt voltage stage, the controller will reduce the battery's voltage to the float voltage set point. When the battery is fully recharged, there will be no more chemical reaction and the charge current transmits into heat and gas at this time. The controller reduces the voltage to the floating stage, charging to smaller voltage and current. It will reduce the temperature of the battery and to prevent gases and also charging, and charging of the battery slightly. At the same time, the purpose of the flow stage is to offset the power consumption caused by self-consumption and small loads in the whole system while maintaining the full battery storage compa capacity. In the float stage, loads a continued draw of the power of the, of the battery. In the event that the system loads exceed the solar charge current, the controller will no longer be able to maintain the battery at a float. Should the battery voltage remain below a boost reconnection charging voltage, the controller will exit float state and return to bulk charging. See, but that wouldn't that be another charging mode? Bulk charging that would be number five. Equalization charge. Certain types of battery benefit from periodic equalization charge, which can stir the electrolytes and balance the battery voltage and complete the chemical reaction. The equalizing charge increases the battery's voltage at a higher than the standard complement voltage, which gasifies the battery electrolytes. 
if if it detects that the battery is being over discharged the solar controller will automatically turn the battery to an equalization charging stage and the equalization charging will be 120 minutes 120 minutes equalizing charge and boost the charge are not carried out constant and the full charge the process is to avoid too much gas precondition and overheating hmm. Other information. It tells you what the different lights are. So, okay, so on this, you have a light for the solar and you have a light for the battery. And then you have a battery gauge right here. So right here would be 50% of the battery. And here would be, it says 90% of the battery. Okay. That's about it. Yeah, so you got the sensor for the heat. That's it. It's that much to it. I mean, it's, it's automatic, you know. But you, um, but out of the box, if you got lithium battery, it's pretty much configured for lithium. And the rest of it, it's automatic. It'll just detect what it is. Whereas this one, This is exactly what it does. Now, they don't go into too much detail. So if you buy one of these, I mean, buy from that company, I'm sure the PWM book would be more detail. This is just brief information. This tells you if you got any errors or stuff, and the specs on it. Really not much information on it. I haven't had any problem with it, and the only reason why I got three of these, and one is for a project, and the other one is for the house. That's yes, right. The house, the sixty watt panel will have a soul controller on it. I wanted to go MPP because I can see what it does for the vehicle inside else. I wanted it to use here inside the house. Okay, so that wraps up the video. And I do appreciate you guys, who those of you who have stayed this long. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. I only did this review because I got this and and I had this one, on, and I know there's not much information on this this um, controller on anywhere. I haven't seen much, or anybody open it up and show what's inside of it. And then this one, I have little pictures on the back. It tells you how to hook up your, your solar system, but it doesn't really tell you that um, most of the bits, thirty five percent of the power is not being used in the PWM. So. And you know, most of it is goes to heat. There's other factors too. But another day we can do talk about that. This is just strictly about the control controls. Well, anyway. Don't forget to subscribe and you know, thumbs up if you enjoy the video. Okay, take care now. Bye bye for now.